Also, you need to level up. Um, Constitution, because I always get Alistair kills. It's all good, it's all good, it's all good. Oh no, that one always happens. Can't avoid that one. Why would the Dark Storm kill catapults is a more interesting question. Help me, they're everywhere. Hello, mage. You, you're Grey Wardens, aren't you? The tower, it's been taken. What are you talking about, man? Taken how? The Darkspawn came up through the lower chambers. They're everywhere. Most of our men are dead. Then we have to get to the beacon and light it ourselves. Or we have a mage. Big lights in the sky right now, please. Big light in the sky right now. Well, I mean, they are sort of wizards. They're not unintelligent. Get Jill Strike turned on and get on the killing. Still more of them. There we are. We apparently deliberately missed the one that was closest to us, but hey. Slice! And loot the bodies. Very well. We don't need to worry about any of the rest of this for the moment. Alright, hellock. More loot, more loot. We're denying resources to humans. Oh, and the enemy, I guess. I increased Alistair's uh, constitution, we just keep dying. Oh. We also have a minor injury still. No, he's not showing us an injury. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what has he actually got? Splint mail, splint mail, splint mail. Do we have a splint mail helmet? I don't know if we do. We have a dragon bone helmet, but we can't do anything with that. of the War Mage. Apparently that provided is set, or that just hadn't turned on. Uh, Pelican United, increase one. What have we got here? Here is on. Alright, we'll do this. I mean, increased monetary gains is probably what we really want, but... There we go. Okay, so no helmet hack has uh, failed. So basically I have a little mod which being cut seems basically means the helmets will never be visible. It's only a small thing and it's not a problem that's going to fail on me. Also, I've just noticed there's more dart spawn attacking us. Also, you are not healed. Chase. Select everybody and attack this guy. Where's the alpha? Also, stop dying, Alistair. Okay, 
now Alistair stop dying, we're gonna kill you. Exactly. There's one right down there. There we are. And attack. Okay, grab a deadlock, grab less of health, and move on. So I've killed all the ones that are outside. None are pouring out, so... This is it for the moment. We have killed all the last one that are not called Aegon. This does suggest there's a lot more Darkspawn who are called Aegon still have to go. Doctor Shadow, stop dying! Yeah, exactly. How dare you die on my watch? Alistair has a habit of doing that a lot, though. But do I have anything I can give him to help out, actually? Uh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. I can give him that, just to, you know, give him something to be holding at the time. A bit more extra armor. But I feel that's pretty much everything. Well, let's hope this works. In we go. So the first, half, first part of the tower is always awkward because unfortunately we have to go through a little chain while we're being shot at. Also, surely if we have that, why are our numbers so low? Okay, Alistair, I have a plan for you. You went out to there. Then you run back. Ah. Hold position. There we go. Here. Alistair, go in. Alistair, run away. Uh, Shin, switch to bow and take a shot. Mage, take a shot. Tower guard, take a shot. I don't like the fact that you two had to decide to run off on that one. Uh, what magic have we got here? We got a bolt. Uh, actually, fire weapons. Let's go with that. We'll take a random damage increase. Alright, well, there's not that many of them out there. Let's go. I'm sure this won't backfire at all. Oh, trap detected. There we go. Our trap detection's finally started working. Blocked, blocked. Attack. Alistair is about to get himself killed, so he can wait. Alright, almost. All right. Is it just me, or do you actually think you have a chance? Why am I not attacking? Time for a little bleed. Oh yeah, because I gave myself the um Yeah, I gave myself that, that's why I'm not attacking. Although this is probably a safer way to do it. Ah. Safer for me at least. Alright, where's that mage? The mage is up there. You lot, deal with the mage. Meanwhile, the mage is going to run away. I am also going to stand there like a lemon. No, Alistair is dead again. This will not be the first time he gets himself killed. This will also not be the first time I get killed. 
All right, well, they'll revive if and when we deal with the other two, so let's go deal with those. The good news is, magic should work. Problem is, this guy's now coming in for attack. Not close enough. Let's see with that. Arcane bolts. Lightning. And attack. Take that! There's so many! There's not that many of them. Basically one left. Alright. Random mage guy, you are now the hero. She will be once. Um... Okay, Shin got up. And we have minor injuries, crushed arm, penalty to damage. Uh, we can live with that. It's worth healing injuries two at a time if you can avoid it, because I'm fairly certain we can get multiples out of. Um... Multiples out of everything. Alright, on we go. I'm also going to take the health position off for the moment. Let's get started. Chest full of loosables. How many injury hits do I actually have? I have. Yeah, I don't have that many. And I could do with saving that till we need it. So, all we gotta do now is just not die. It's a simple plan. It's a plan we, in theory, always have, but you never know. You could These people that. might force us to not obey that plan from time to time. Weapon sweep. And we'll take this hand look out. Also, yeah, I noticed those two. Counter attack, please. Grab the things, grab the things, grab the things. Meanwhile, shoot the other thing. It's either you or me, and it isn't going to be me. Come now. Defend yourself. All good? All good. Moving on. Let's hop out and loot the tower for all it's worth. Mollus outboxes. We should hope we'd be getting to a stage where we could, in theory, craft some injury kits, but I think we have to wait until we get to the town ne next town anyway. On. Blank vellum, and we're going to open this door. Which contains only the gen lock. Right. Who has money for some reason? Because Dark Spawn still use currency. Dark Dark. Destroy the How much? Oh, also, turn that back on. Turn Jewel Striking back on while we do this. And now we continue our plan of just denying wealth to humans and also to Alistair. And a bit to bed and a bit to bed. Okay, how much? Floor two. I think we're going to end this as soon as we deal with the ogre. 
Actually, I guess it depends how we get into this, how far we get into the thing at this stage, but I'm imagining we're going to end the stream once we get uh, the ogre fight and just get uh, Morrigan and into... Well, we're still not technically yeah, part of the tutorial phase of the game because we're still in the loafering the area, but there wasn't supposed to be any basically the last step of the tutorial still to go. You could try telling them they're in the wrong place. Right, because clearly this is all just a misunderstanding. We'll laugh about this later. At any rate, we need to hurry. We need to get up to the top of the tower and light the signal fire in time. Mage? Karen Loghain will be waiting for the signal. How big a fireball can you make out of the window? I mean, the question should at least be asked. How big a fireball could you make out of the window to signal people? Even if they don't accept that as a signal, they might question that. Hold on. Why is the tower on fire? In fact, isn't setting the tower on fire actually the best way to handle this? Let's burn it down! It also does with the dark spawn inside. Also, we'll open this door. Then we will head out this way. More dark spawn. Great. Yay! More dark spawn. All right. Well, this is what I mean. Surely the tower's on fire. Then I'll take, I'll take that as a signal, or you know, wonder why the tower's on fire. I mean, as it happens, he doesn't care about the signal anyway. But you know, that's that's my force on the processes anyway. And again, we're going to run into sense, so we're not Get dealing with multiple groups at the same time. And attack. I asked the fix we work well together. How Did little he knows. Enough? How little he knows. Alright, so we've still got the one group of... Dark spawn here, so we're gonna trigger those now. Back we go. You two, start firing. Uh, I suppose we might as well all go for the kill here. whole group of them. got to the stage unfortunately a sad phase though it is where we've now killed more dark spawn than we've killed humans it's a sad time for this playthrough on it this should be easy enough I mean we'll try and rebalance this as it goes I'm fairly certain it does actually keep a rolling tracker of combat kills somewhere Uh, character record. There you go. Heroic accomplishments. We have killed 69. We killed the General Cannon series, our strongest one. We have killed 28 people and 90 Darkspawn as a, in the party. We have long since passed that. And 22 dangerous animals. Which I count the humans as. So therefore we'll kill all that 50. Maybe. I am disappointed. So very, very disappointed. Oh well. Eventually we will reach that point where we have killed many, many more humans throughout this playthrough. There are still tons of them we can kill. Especially during the cutscenes. Also, we're going to fire the ballista. And fire the ballista. There we go. There should be a way we're here now. Genlock with loot. 
And free it all. Dark. Dark spawn. Watch for their blood. Take we don't have to watch for their blood though, because we've already proven ourselves immune to the same. So make sure we grab that. A couple of silver. That gen lock had more money than the entire secured supplies that were locked up there. Loot. 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 All right. Third floor. Let's get started. Actually, that's a fair point. Rogues are at the best of them they can backstab. So therefore, if we get into the human's trust first, then we can kill them all. I mean, it's a long way off, but that eulogy at the end of the game... Low gain better be ready to charge as soon as we light the signal. The king is depending on us. Pile of bones. I hope they're human bones. It's not a very big tower. It's more wide than it is to- Oh, I didn't notice you there. We'll kill you instead then. Alright, kill all the archers. Alright, we'll kill this archer first then, since he's run away. Hey, we've already become a great warden. We killed a hundred dust when I think that's easy before. So Alright, let's see what weapons we got. Ice arrows. We will equip those actually by the time we get up to the top, but or the fire arrows at least. They'll work better on ogres, I think. Let's get started. No, I'm thinking of trolls. I'm thinking of trolls. We don't need to worry about um, acid resilience for that. Uh, where's the switch for the Mabari? There's a way to do it. There we are. Release the Mabari! Release the, hound. Release the hounds! Well, it works better on humans. Well, I mean, ice works on humans as well. They don't, humans don't like being cold, as a rule. But then roasting humans is a lot more efficient than freezing humans. They should be easier. Release the hounds! Thank you, hounds. Their services to the cause of killing all the humans will not be forgotten. Oh, I may actually use the dust one. Okay, they have done nothing to help the cause. But, you know, they're here, and they're helping right now. So many war moves we've done. Yeah, but unfortunately there are fairly important rules about what you can show on screen, and I think that... Um, the effects of releasing dogs on, well, what, yeah, what, dogs in wartime is not an effect that um, people want to see, or even the results in defense against said dogs. Anyway, we're going to run away, because we want to 
Release the hounds! At least in films, you have to worry about the aftermath a little bit. Hello! Yeah, I'm trying to drag the hounds a bit further up this little assistance with these battles. Well, you kind of have to show them doing something, otherwise it's a point to see. I mean, it's what, 10 seconds of wasted uh, video? That's, that's expensive. Those 10 seconds could also be someone's boredom threshold. Have been released, I'm not denying this. I killed one! I killed one! I'm so happy, oh, so outrageously happy when he killed one. On. Alright, meanwhile, loot the things. Also, yeah, we have to go and grab the loot actually. All the loot, all the loot. Open the crate. Okay, so we have another injury kit. Means we might decide to use one before we go and do the proper fight. Because we don't want to have our things. In fact, we've got two. Well, we haven't even got to the special one for killing the, um, the ogre at this point. Although, it's not amazing odds that we'll get to pull that one off. But you never know. Hello, my Barry. Come with us. They did. They did. And while they were cinematic, they weren't the they weren't cinematic for the sake of it. They actually, you know, were just small little moments added in. There is definitely a lot more care. If you've not actually, have you? How much into this game have you got, Egan? You have finished it, haven't you? I know you said you were doing it in reverse order, but I assume you've um, completed DAO. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Bought it in reverse order. I mean, that's fine. I'm just surprised you decided how... You saw Inquisition. I know Inquisition gets panned a lot, but, you know... You, you bought Inquisition, then you bought two, and thought, oh dear god, the series progression, how has it got from... It, it, how, it was a really bad game, and Inquisition was a step up. And then, of course, DAO. Then you realise it was a little... I mean, in fairness, to, in fairness to Dragon Age 2, I bought it when it was £3 in a sale. It's a £3 game. £3, definitely worth it. And I'm not too in love with... I mean, I like I love the game. I do like the game, but... Oh, you know what? Okay. I mean, it's a long game. I'll concede that. But it's still... It's definitely worth it. Yeah, exactly. At five euros, DA2 is worth it. <laughs> but compared to this one, it is not at all... It is night and day between this and DA2. In terms of quality. This one, it, this one you can tell people cared about it. DA2... Um, the combat system's okay. All right, Operation Get Alistair Not Killed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there, there were aspects of DA2 I liked. Obviously, it wasn't as open world, but that was fine if they if they had kept the quality up. If each area was unique, sure. It was the fact that you kept having to run through stock dungeon after stock dungeon after stock dungeon. Also, I'm thinking I should have leveled up before I did this. Darn. Well, my bad. Alright, the plan then. Tower guard. Shoot. And... Yeah, we'll go with that. 
Get from Shattering Scots. Mage? Flame weapons. Now. Right. Shin, round the back. Weapons at the ready. No, true enough on that one, but... You know, at least the areas were large enough to kind of justify it to a certain extent. Pinning shot, and then we're going to keep on with the lightnings. Meanwhile, Alistair, what are you, what are you dragging him over there for? Got the stun off. Did you not turn flaming weapons on? Thank you. Also, I think he's decided that they're doing more damage to him. Um, run away. Yeah, we do not want our mages attacked right now. Arcane bolt, please. Lightning, please. Also, crippling shot. I was kicked. <laughs> Alright, re-attack. I said, it's the first time I've played through the game where he's actually focused on the people who aren't actually the meleeists. Normally he just goes and definitely kills Alistair. Mage? You do not want to be standing. He's going after our archer for some reason. Run away! Would you two just attack? Do you actually think you have a chance? Come on. Mage, counterattack, please. In fact, actually. On. Flame blast. That might actually kill him. Shin, final blow! Run away! Oh, we didn't get the cinematic kill. He just fell over. Well, we successfully got Alistair not killed. Let's light it quickly before it's too late. No, no, we missed barrels first. Barrels! 